When we go to New Jerusalem, I'm going to have a cat. He's going to be black and white, and his name is going to be Bean. And I'm going to make sure that he never gets sick, and he never gets old, and he'll be my best friend forever. There's so much to discover on this island that sometimes it overwhelms me. Every lake, every forest contains an incredible, interconnected, permanently changing network of organisms. And every one of those organisms is almost infinitely complex and contains other organisms within itself. It seems impossible to ever really grasp. But then, step by step, I do understand it takes time and effort, but it's not impossible. And there's a lot of joy to be found in simply taking the time to truly study something. I spent five years studying a single flower, and it never got boring. When we go to New Jerusalem, I'm going to have a cat. He's going to be black and white and his name is going to be Bean. And I'm going to make sure that he never gets sick, and he never gets old, and he'll be my best friend forever. Strap in, this is a long one. You may have heard the story of the carpenter who died to redeem humanity's sins. It's a powerful story, bittersweet, very human, and I just want to tell you that it's true. He was a real person and his name was John. John Carpenter. He was born in the year 1948, and he was the coolest filmmaker to ever walk the earth. From Halloween to The Thing to They Live, the totally underrated in the mouth of madness, mind you, he just made classic after classic. All of his movies, really fun, really atmospheric, but also really smart. Even when they were goofy, most directors would kill to have made just one of those movies. And what did he get for it? A big, fat truckload of nothing. Well, huh, less than nothing. The studios, the critics, even the fans, they hated him. The Thing, okay, for example, which is about as perfect a movie as you can make, completely torn to shreds. And his career never really recovered. Every movie after that was a struggle. And after a while, he just got tired of it and quit. He only really came back to movies in his 70s. How many works of genius did we never get because of that? Look, I have a point here. People like Carpenter, people like Alex, they're not always appreciated in their own time. If you just do what's popular, you might never create anything important. Of course, we admire people who did the right thing, who didn't conform, but we only ever admire them after the fact. What matters is to support people when it's difficult. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze, and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, 
and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man? He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If then a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics. Yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. So I heard that Alexandra is recording these time capsules for... You out there, I guess? Robot people of the future, hi. And I thought to myself, surely they'll want to hear more than the wisdom and insight of a brilliant scientist like Alexandra Drennan. Surely they also want to know what I was thinking, a dumbass hardware engineer from Staten Island. Tell us about your insights, Trevor. Why did you spend your last months on Earth helping a crazy old Russian guy build the world's biggest backup drive? Well, let me tell you my story. When I was... Yeah. Yeah, yes, Frank. I'm recording right now. Uh-huh. No. You know what? Why don't you go...